and we are back with the MLG game on presentation of the MLG Anaheim qualifier number three. Next up, we have another team kill, Root versus Root. This brings me no pleasure. And uh, another TVP. Frost, another TVP. Is, Frost is gonna be our first map again. Yep. However, the matchup should be pretty strong. It is once again one of our teammates up above. Um, I guess playing against our cheesiest. Uh, Whoa. Cheesiest player in general? It is, yeah. Okay. Our cheesiest player caliber. Recently coming from a 4 0 against No Regret in a show match where he kind of rushed three out of four games. Yeah. Well, it's a devastation. Devastation? Yeah. Yeah, the map is going to be Frost, as we could have expected. It's always Frost first in TVP, it seems. Ready when y'all are, says uh, I guess. I think Rob would be better at saying that. Rob, <laughs> how do you say y'all properly? Y'all. 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 Okay. Is Patco ready is the question. And ready. Root Caliber is ready. Who do you think is going to take this? This one's harder. I would this say, one is harder. I'm going to say... Like the uh, obvious choice is I guess. Yeah. Right? That, I that's, would, that's, I'm the safe person. That's, so a, solid, would, that's yeah. a solid choice, right? But I wouldn't say 2-0 this time. Caliber, you can never count Caliber yeah, out. I wouldn't ever. say 2-0 this time. He could be playing Flash, and I still wouldn't <laughs> count Caliber out. He could be playing Flash and Jadong, 2v1. He might find a way. Caliber is crazy, dude. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, I'll go. Th I'll go two one, for, I guess. All right. But, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. Um, I don't know. Patco could take it. So we'll see. In the bottom right hand position of the map, Frost, the frostiest map of them all, representing Root Gaming once again, and by proxy TT Sports Switch and V3 Gaming PC. It is the Gimli Terran, the Dwarf Terran, the tiny little guy with the beard, <laughs> the manliest Terran alive. It's Ayagas. Indeed. It's Sayagas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay. And in the top right-hand position, uh, as the pink Protoss, not the manliest man, however the cheesiest without a doubt. Representing Root Gaming once again, and by proxy, our sponsor is TT Sports Switch on B3. It is Caliber. One of the smartest people I know in terms of strategy in StarCraft 2. Um, almost without a doubt. No cross map this time. Do you no think cross map do you think arena. Be, uh, no cross map arena. Um, I think, I don't know. I have no idea. So, I guess we'll have to find out soon. Everything seems pretty normal thus far. I was going for a Reaper opener by the looks of it. Yeah, 12 12. Yeah, just standard, standard stuff. Standard stuff. Putting the barracks in the sponsored location for TT Esports. So, that's a TT Esport barracks. Which means it's probably going to be faster and better. It's probably. It's a Almost barracks, without a, a doubt. Faster, yeah. yeah. Almost without a doubt. So. Is that and double gas? He's going to go scout with the first SCV, it looks like. Double gas, yeah, from double gas from Caliber, yeah. it seems like. So, the pink proto is already going for something perhaps out of the ordinary. Um, perhaps looking to take It looks really gas. fast, double gas, isn't it? I don't know. But he's only going to do two on, two on each. Is it? Rob thinks it's pretty standard. Ever since he learned how to play Protoss from Dennis, he thinks he knows everything. Yeah, this is the opener that Dennis had Rob do. So. Yeah, just two items. What is it, Rob? Why didn't you commentate it for us? Since no, you know the opener also, oh so well. Once he gets 16 probes on minerals, he'll rally the next two to the gases, and then I don't know what he'll do, but it's like standard gas timing. Damn! Rob with the knowledge bombs! <laughs> Rob knows his shit, man. Rob knows his shit, man. Um. Will he cancel the zealot? Yep. Ah. Uh. I got scouted the long way. Dropped well, a fast reactor. A fast CZ as well. Yeah. And Calibur with a pretty quick nexus himself. Oh, he did get a Reaper. Okay. A Reaperoni. Reaperoni. One Reaperoni. So of course, is coming out now. Will he get a probe? I'm gonna uh, say no. No. No probes. No probes will die. No, there's uh, there's no stalker this time, is there? Yeah, but the mothership core. Oh, uh, he will get that probe, 100%. He got, he got the probe. I don't think he should have got that probe. You don't think so? No, I was just chilling there. Oh. Caliber just like, whatever. You can die. Oh, okay. 
So Calder is going to get a scout. Yeah. Nice sneaky scout. scout. That's good for him. Sees that everything is pretty much normal in Camp Aegis. And Aegis is going to come back to potentially kill this probe with the Reaper. Uh, I'd be pretty scared. I'd, I'd definitely change the the path of that of that probe a little bit earlier if I were Caliber, because the Reaper was quite clearly coming for it. Now there is Star a Star Gate, so as we predicted, it is fast tech. Ish. Do you think we're gonna see an Oracle or a Phoenix? Uh, I'd say almost definitely an Oracle. But I um, would say almost definitely an Oracle, but it's Caliber, so it could be anything. Hmm. Um. As a matter of fact, judging by the position of the Star Gate, I. I I'm leaning towards Phoenixes. Yeah? Yeah. Could be. Hmm. Plus one starting for Igas. And uh, Stim probably going to start up there in a second. You think so? Yeah. That's okay. what I'd expect. There it is. There it is. Very well then. Very oh, good. Reaper gets in. Could see the star gate. Probably yep. will. Uh, if yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Will. Good scout. Calder Fleet. doesn't scout. Doesn't. Uh, he might show a fake phoenix here and then start an oracle. Could, but I think he was going phoenix anyway. So I'll say I'm right regardless of what happens here. Okay, uh, it looks like it. it. Looks like he's just gonna go with the phoenix. Wow, this cat's really smart, or what? Could be. You think? Could so? be. I don't know. I think he might have. He might have wanted to go for an oracle. No, no, I don't think so. Okay. Well, we was I right? Let's let's just okay. Well, I'll give you that one. I was right. Okay. okay. Thank you, Dave. Um, currently huh. seeing now phoenixes getting a robo. Sentries, mothership core, probes, standard stuff. Yep. Turrets are already up for uh for uh our Gimli Terran here. So, how much is gonna happen? A bunker just being a little bit extra safe. Um, Calvary start gonna start poking with his Phoenix. He's gonna find a turret right away. So we'll see what he's able to do with these. He's still producing Phoenixes, so he's gonna be at up to four, I believe, pretty soon. Mm -hmm. No, just three yeah. actually. I don't think he. Do you think he'll add a fourth one? No, no. The, yeah. He's he's at three right now. He's going for pretty cool, pr yeah. pretty quick colossus. So um, this is the style that Jim plays a bunch, right? Jim the Chinese. Oh, he is adding a fourth Phoenix. Jim, Jim the Chinese man. Do you think he'll go um, for two base all in here? It is caliber. It's impossible. I, I don't know. He could very well do that. He could play a macro game as well, though. Um, we'll just have to see. We will just have to see. He's a, he's a very unpredictable player, for sure. Plus one uh, attack finishing up for uh, Igas and starting his plus one armor. Stim's almost done. Probably start combat shield after that. Yeah, a forge going down for uh, Calibre as well. He probably wants to start his own upgrades. If we're going to see a third by either player, we should be approaching that mark now. Looks like that is. He's going to go drop it. Yep. Yeah, and there it is. the CC by Iagus. So. Another Phoenix. Five Phoenix. Yep. Up to five Phoenixes. And this is pretty much just building up a, a good number of Phoenix to deal with... Uh, with Vikings later on for his Colossus as well. So it's not just harassment tools that are going wrong. Good pick he's up. Gonna, yeah, he's going to pick up this uh, SCV and delay the third CC. Another can Get a good scout. Gets two SCVs finally. Good mine placement by Iagus. So uh, Calibre's going to have to be pretty careful with that. Fa that I Whoa. love that. I love that he faked going going out and then went back for the SCV. Yeah, that's SCV. smart. Yeah, that's one of the things that I like to do with Muta that almost always works. Um, it's really annoying for uh, I guess yeah, to deal with as well. It really is. And uh, now pulling back the Phoenix, most mostly to Whoa. to get rid of the to get rid of the medevacs here. First boss has just popped out. Yeah, photon overcharge is very strong. Oh, not the greatest position oh. for the Phoenix though. They're all gonna fall down. It's a little bit of a mistake by uh, by Caliber, but nothing is gonna escape here for I guess. Yeah. I think that normally you could have lifted off in the medevac. So yeah, away, but if no, not Phoenix, a chance. So. so a little bit, no, perhaps not thinking ahead. I He's guess. adding a second star guide and plus one air weapons. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, that's cute. But I, I think he feels like he has momentum right now, and he can yeah, start picking off, picking off units with a phoenix. If he hadn't lost those two phoenix, this would be even better. Uh, oh no, he has to be really careful. Ooh, Great dear. mind placement by Agus. One Phoenix yeah. will fall down. Um, the one that had the least HP though. Uh, so that's fortunate. Doesn't mind one shot of Phoenix? I believe so. Mm, not 100% on that. Rob? 
from production. I think Mine it's. I think it leaves it low if it has full shield. No, it should. Yeah, it should. It should kill it. No, should it kill it? What does mine do? And double Phoenix. I haven't really seen this play much, but yeah, maybe it doesn't kill it. Does it? I think it does. No, it, it wouldn't okay. No. Are you sure? Oh, okay. Uh, so I guess it doesn't work. Yeah, so the third Nexus just finished up for Caliber. While the third... Oh, we'll find out in a second. Nope. <laughs> close, close. Close, but no cigar. Uh, so yeah, I would say Caliber is in a pretty decent, yeah, decent position uh, after getting rid of that. And again, I think that Aegis probably wouldn't do that ever again against this. It was probably a face face bomb. Be like, oh, yeah, of course he has Phoenix. I shouldn't, you know... Like, because there, there's usually very little risk with that push, because you can always just load into your meta and leave. Uh, just not against this. He is getting quite a high Phoenix count as well, isn't he? He's continually pumping out two at a time. Yeah, he's been hiding them too, so Iris doesn't doesn't necessarily know that that's what's going on. Oh, he sees some of them. Oh, he sees a Phoenix or two. Uh, but yeah, he he's starting to add uh, Vikings now, and. Since he doesn't know how many Phoenix there are, I think the more he commits to Vikings, the better potentially for uh, Caliber. Since Caliber is producing... Oh, actually, he's not producing Phoenixes right now. Um, Maybe just a momentary thing. He should be producing two at a time, pretty much. Yeah, there it goes. Because he has yeah, committed to the air upgrades as yeah. well. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Fleet Beacon either. I don't know why people... Yeah, he might. The... Oh, he did? Yeah, there it goes. Oh, there we go. Wow, I'm so smart. It started right as I said it. The star sense. Holy, holy guacamole and good. Um, the ghost so. academy. Hmm. What do you think the best way to deal with this is? Mass Viking? With what? Like the mass phoenix kind of deal? Uh, I don't know. You, if, if you're good at focusing the Colossus with the Vikings, that could definitely... Well, he has a lot it. of Vikings, actually. Yeah, but phoenix, phoenix are good, man. Three ghosts at a time? Once they have the range upgrade, they oh, become yeah. so much better, too. It's true. Um, it is. So, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Four Vikings at a time, though. That is true. As well as Templar Archives being started here. Yeah, Caliber's composition is starting to look pretty scary, though. Four Colossus out. Tempest. Tempest? Tempest. Now, this is weird. I was expecting a Phoenix Range upgrade, for sure. I was not expecting Tempests. I'm not sure why Tempest. Yeah, it's a bit confusing. Plus two as well. Yeah. He's really committing to the air. Yeah, I just don't understand the Tempest. Yeah, neither do I. Now, do I'll be honest, I think that adding three to four Tempests to any Protoss army composition is, like, not too bad at all. Because they're not very supply heavy. But Caliber's not really close to being maxed. So, I'm not sure why he's adding the Tempest now. We'll have to ask mm -hmm. him later. I guess is maxed. Yeah, this could be a strong timing. He's yeah. got a 50 supply so, advantage. I guess what I'm saying is Tempests are very supply efficient, but they're not necessarily cost efficient all the time. And so... You know, oh, the, the, the boys! The boys are here, so... And the storm is not quite done, but he sees the tempo regardless. This is gonna be pretty tough. Oh, great force shields, though! That was amazing force shields by, uh, by Caliber. I think if he focuses the Colossus, uh, there's oh, no way he can stop this. Done. Tempest actually tanking quite a bit. If, there, if there's a few more force shields... Oh, the boys break through. Yeah. Nah, is... there's so much tear in here. Yeah. I don't... Oh, the Colossus are getting good swipes, actually, if you micro back are, but well. There's no, no more Phoenix. Yeah, and there's nothing to tank for the Colossus, either. Yeah. So it looks like Iagos might barely break through. Or maybe not. I mean, Ooh, this he is... did lose a lot of yeah. SCVs, so... The supplies are equal, but... Yeah, Iagos got... down to 22 SCVs. If Caliber pushes this out... Somehow. ...without losing much more... Oh, yeah, nah, he's Phoenix gonna... Oh. pick up stuff. He should start picking up Marauders. There's actually not there a lot is. here for Iagos. Yeah, I mean, Iagos needs to kill Caliber with the next attack or so. Yeah. That was actually a very impressive pull by, by Caliber. Uh, he still if kept Iagos is not able to, to, kill, to kill Caliber really soon, I think it's lights out. He's he still got all so the probes at his third. He's got 53 probes. Yeah. I think uh, it is lights out for Iagos. He's yeah, down supply. Is. Wow. That was a sick pull. And GG. Caliber is going to take game one. What just happened? I'm not sure, David. That was quite quite impressed. I thought the he was. I thought he was clutch. rich. Clutch is the word, right? Yeah. Force seals were so clutch, dude. I thought he was ripped 100%. You think so? Yeah.
Well, either way, good play by both. Better play by Calibre, I guess, this time around. Yeah. Um, so he's going to take game number one with 114 <laughs> APM, by the way. That is Calibre. Give Protoss. Give Protoss. Um, when Calibre was recruited into Root, people were, a lot of people were against it. Not going to lie. Um, usually it's a unanimous decision. Um, you know, when we, when we recruit someone to root, I like say, Hey, I want to recruit this person in the chat. And then everyone gives their ideas with color was like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, man. I was like, dude, this guy, he may not be the most mechanically capable player, but he is one of the smartest people I know. Like he is so smart. I swear he was actually like, he plays random, right? Sometimes yeah, on the ladder. And like, he was the first person. I'm not even kidding that I've seen like and by a mile too like by like months in advance that I seen go 3cc against Zerg in TVZ and this is like Wings of Liberty yeah, it like been early ages. on like uh, what was that map called <sighs> I don't even know it was a weird map anyway like I saw it I was like wow why don't turns do that and he was like I don't know I was like I, I don't think I can break it and it's true for the most part you know like like you can yeah. safely 3cc yeah, and definitely. Calibre knew how to do that like so early on and just strategies that people just don't think about his so people were so torn like it was a few for caliber a few that were undecided and a couple that were like i don't know man i don't think he's that good um so we gave him tryouts which we've never done for root before it's usually yeah it's usually just a, a direct invite yeah uh, and a unanimous decision but i really pushed for caliber um and so we gave him tryouts and in the tryouts he played Vive who was one of our strongest players at the time if not the, str the strongest player we had at the time just coming fresh off of a WCS uh, America victory and whatnot back then and uh, Caliber beat him 3-0 but the way he beat him 3-0 <laughs> <laughs> dude it was like cannon rush and like Vive was getting rustled it's like this is supposed to be like tryout games I can't see like what he's like if he's good or not if he's cannon rushing me I mean, I'm like, a, I mean, I mean, going to the next game. Then, uh, yeah, the next, uh, the next map was something like that. You know, like four gate or something like that. Two zero. <laughs> the third map, uh, daybreak. It was an immortal all in, off of a proxy robo. So he had a proxy robo producing immortals next to Vive's third. <laughs> it was insane, dude. I was, and, and like some people were getting pissed off. They were like, "Are you serious? Like, is he doing this in the tryout games?" I'm like, I mean, it's working, right? I mean, that's, like, I like it. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think, like, again, he may not be the most mechanically capable player, but he like, makes it work. He makes it work. He plays to win, and he's extremely smart. And he's been going to school um, forever, so he's never been full-time, um, not even close to full-time. He's, he's, yeah. But um, he's actually finishing school soon, and he is going full-time. Like, I can't tell you how excited I am for that because... I think he like if if you know if he improves mechanically, I think he might be unstoppable. He's so smart. Um, waiting for him to join the lobby though. It doesn't seem like he's very smart on that. Uh, we'll be back in three minutes.